The little-known Bucharest 9 or B9 is a 2015 initiative by Romania and Poland aimed at enhancing cooperation among NATO's newest members. On Wednesday, the group met in Warsaw, hosted by Polish President Andrzej Duda. What we wish to do today is to think together among closest allies about our next steps in the run-up to the B9 summit in Bratislava and the NATO summit in Vilnius and about the possibilities to provide further support to Ukraine. President Joe Biden reaffirmed U.S. commitment to the B9 countries, which were under Russia's fear of influence during the Cold War, but are now anxious about Moscow's expansionist ambitions. We are the front lines of our collective defense, and you know better than anyone what's at stake in this conflict not just for Ukraine, but for the freedom of democracies throughout Europe and around the world. The group met amid concerns over Moscow's destabilizing activities in Moldova, a tiny non-NATO country sandwiched between Ukraine and Romania. On Tuesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin revoked a 2012 decree affirming the territorial integrity of Moldova, whose Moscow-backed separatist region of Transnistria hosts an unknown number of Russian troops. Putin is not preparing for peace, said NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. On the contrary, he is preparing for more war. So we must sustain and step up our support for Ukraine. We must give Ukraine what they need uh, to prevail. The B9 summit wraps up Biden's whirlwind visit to Eastern Europe that began with a secret trip to Kiev on Monday and a Tuesday speech at Warsaw's historic royal castle where he defended NATO's year-long effort to help Ukraine fend off Russia's invasion. He returned to Washington Wednesday evening. Patsy Widahuswara, VOA News, Warsaw.